Hi there. In this video, I'm going to show you how to make your own custom profiles using Decal Champ. Uh, so I've got a decal here I've created uh, to make uh, something that looks like alien blood. Um, I actually created this by starting with uh, the blood wet chunky uh, profile. Then I actually brought in a green albedo instead of the red one. I actually just changed it in, uh, in GIMP, uh, which is like Photoshop, made my own uh, color. And then uh, I changed the format here to a, uh, it was uh, a procedural, I've um, changed it to a procedural pr plus a secondary texture. Uh, and that's allowed me to add a similar a secondary format. And I've actually added the same, uh, the same albedo normal, but I've created a slightly dark tint that I'm mixing it with. And that gives these nice sort of dark and light variations on the blur, which I think just looks a lot better than using a single color. Uh, and then I've just changed some of the settings in my uh, decal procedural. Uh, the rest I think is pretty much the same. So now if I wanted to save this, let's say I'm working on a sci-fi level and uh, I'm going to want a, a kind of blood splatter in multiple places, maybe in multiple scenes, I'd like to save it. I'm gonna show you that uh, process. I may at some point add a save uh, profile button, but it's not particularly difficult to do anyway. So in the decal champ folder, you want to actually go down to the utilities folder and within there, there's a folder called profiles. Uh, there is a uh, enum, a strut and a table. We don't really need to worry about the strut, uh, but we will need to go into the enum. So I'm gonna double click that and just bring that in. So you can see we've got all the same uh, uh, choices of profiles that we see when we select it. Um, so what I'm gonna do now is just add a new enum and I'm gonna call this alien blood okay and then I'm going to save that that's all we need to do there now I'm actually going to go into my data table and double click that now here's actually all the saved profiles from all the others so to add my new alien blood profile I'm going to click add now it's important that I give the row exactly the same name it does match on name so I put it alien underscore blood so I'm going to do that Okay, so that's all we need to do now uh, for, for that. So what we're going to do now is actually, uh, we're going to actually just fill this in. And these are in the same order as they are on the, de on the details uh, panel. So we'll move this up a little bit. So we'll get this up so it's somewhat close. Okay, so of course there's no profile. This is a profile. So the first thing you see is the mass format. Uh, CS stands for core settings. So you know which, uh, and they're all, they're all, um, They've all got the same acronyms for the, the various categories, so you know where you're at. So of course, I have a procedural uh, texture. Um, I'm using a splatter mask 4K. Now I can actually just select the folder option that's gonna select it, and then obviously I can just bring that straight in uh, for clicking the, uh, the uh, selection button here. My opacity is one. Um, now my scalability is turned off. It does need to be turned off with this mask because uh, the way this mask works because we need it to have a center and the splatter goes outwards it doesn't scale uh, so we don't we actually while well that the procedural masks generally do scale we actually want to override that turn that off so again I've got to then go into PT as my primary textures so I'm just going to select them in the folder and I can bring those straight in so best way to get my tint I'm just going to copy the hex dump that right in here okay and then I'm gonna go through all of these and really just fill in exactly as I'm seeing them uh, in uh, exactly as I'm seeing them through there so I'll speed this part of the video up I'm gonna go through but it generally only takes a couple of minutes uh, just go through them uh, so bear with me and uh, I'll come back Okay, so I finished putting in uh, the detail. It took me about another 90 seconds, it was very quick. Uh, I'm just going to save this now. So I've uh, filled everything in, saved it to my table. Uh, and that's it, and then we should find this works. So when uh, I go back to uh, my profiles, I can now see my alien blood at the bottom. Um, just to check it's working, I'm going to uh, load a different profile. So I want to load on the floor, I know. And then we go back to alien blood click low profile and there it is so at that point uh, this will always be available to me 
uh, and I can just continue to add profiles or I can even just change the ones I've got uh, just through that method. So that's really just going into the profiles, uh, adding or making sure the uh, enum uh, table is, uh, has got the latest profile in and then you just match the name uh, in the data table. So that's it. That's how you create new profiles. Thanks so much for watching. Take care.